Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name once again is Jason, and today we're back with some more Elder Scrolls Arena. I went ahead and I lowered my uh, cycles in uh, the DOSBox configuration, just because uh, I want to be able to read some of the uh, timed messages, you know, as they happen. I think that would be nice. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's why I'm lowering the detail a bit, but the draw distance isn't that bad anyway, so, or isn't that... Yeah, it's not that far out anyway, so uh, that shouldn't be much of a problem. So, what happened last time? Well, last time we were investigating. We were wandering through the mines of Kuras. Uh, that's, uh, that's how I'm pronouncing it anyways. And um, that's what we're going to continue doing um, in this uh, this episode here. So, I'm invisible. I'm able to absorb. All right, I just want to make wanted to make sure that uh, those things were still enabled. All right, so let's continue exploring and seeing if we can't find um, whatever it is we came in here. Oh, that's right. Yes, Mister um, Mister What's His Face, the uh, the priest monk guy who came in here with the um, oh, what was it? Evidently, I'm no longer invisible. So I'm going to take this opportunity to refresh my spells. Uh, Absorbo, we'll put light on. Uh, we'll turn my shield on as well. And then lastly, after they've hit me a bunch of times, then I'll turn on Sneaky Peaky like. Because now they, they, now they don't know where I'm at. And if they don't know where I'm at, they can't continue to shoot at me and filling up my spell points. That's a, that's a nice way to start the episode off, get attacked uh, by... Uh, Magical things that will renew my, uh, basically renew my, my spell points so that I can just go ahead and renew everything else. But, uh, yes, I actually, I can't remember what it was that, uh, the, um, oh, man, what was his name? I don't even remember his name. This is terrible. I feel, I feel awful. Now, I'm, I'm actually a little bit, uh, Oh, hello, Stone Golem. I'm a little bit disappointed that I had to uh, turn down uh, the, the detail and or turn down the cycles because I really liked how fast the game was running. I was like, man, this is this is nice. Especially since, like, like I mentioned, uh, I believe in was it the previous episode. I mentioned earlier in the series how I had um, given Daggerfall a bit of a shot, and uh, the one thing I got to say I'm looking forward to in Daggerfall is that. It runs a lot smoother on modern PCs than uh, than Arena does. Uh, well, actually, for all I know, it ran smoother back in the day. I don't know if Arena was necessarily the um, the pinnacle of 60 FPS back in the day. Uh, heck, even even Doom wasn't running at 60 frames per second back in the day. Yeah, I, I think actually, I think a lot of people seem to forget that that uh, Doom actually, when it came out, actually controlled pretty terribly as well. It wasn't, uh, there was no free mouse look, uh, it was, yeah, it, it was pretty bad, so, it, it's interesting that some of these old games that we play now, um, even though we're playing the, you know, we're playing these old games now, they still don't quite, actually, every chance I get, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna refresh Absorbo, um, they don't play the way they used to, uh, and that's, I guess you could say both a good and a bad thing. Uh, I think it's nice uh, that, um, you know, in some case, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's going to be a case-by-case -case basis. You know, some games, they benefit from uh, the added computing power due to the way that they've been uh, programmed. Uh, maybe they've been patched as the years went on to uh, allow, we'll say, better performance uh, on uh, newer systems. Uh, like like I mentioned before, Doom is an example of that. Uh, it performs much better than it did before. It controls better. Uh, it's overall a just a better game. Uh, Arena, on the other hand, that 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 choppiness. It's uh, it's like ugh. I uh, see. To me, graphics uh, graphics mean very very little actually. Like, man, what am I looking for? There we go. Uh, I, I watch this. I look at this, and I, I'm like, these graphics are beautiful. I love this, but for me, frame rate—that is what makes or breaks an experience for me. Uh, I don't care if something looks like it belongs on 
you know, the PS1 th 3D graphics wise. If it's running at 60 frames per second, I'm happy because there's that there's that responsiveness, right? There's uh What the uh, Great, now I got to refresh my shield again. Darn ghosts. I'm glad though that I got that uh that um that uh, shield spell because that's definitely uh, helped me res uh, not get, we'll say, uh, cheap shot as much. I think you think you should be able to pick this lock. All right, let's take a look. Failure. Well, I guess. Oh, I was gonna say. Well, I guess you were wrong, but I guess I was right. I was able to ultimately pick it. Yeah, and especially with uh, like narrow corridors like this, uh, the shield spell is definitely, definitely handy. Let's see, I'll just go ahead and refresh it every time I get hit. Um, yeah, but see, so, yeah, as I was saying, frame rate is frame rate is key. I, I don't care how bad the game looks as long as it um, it plays well because frame rate's more than just graphics looking smooth. You know, a lot of times, you know, if a game is running at a high frame rate, it also means it's going to be detecting your input at a high frame rate. Uh, you know, it's just checking for your input at like 60 frames per second. That's a good thing. Um, amateur quality of this lock. Ha 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 ha. And I can't pick it. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Uh. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use. Uh, where's that spell? Where's that spell? St Steve. Steve. <gasps> On the floor here, you find a journal. The book seems torn and tattered, with only one page still legible. The dreams continue. I know not their import, but something must be done, else the empire will surely perish. Perhaps I am mad. I know not. I will begin searching for the map in the sorth, sorth, southeastern section of these mines, then continue west along the southern wall. I pray that I am not too late. Obviously, this journal was penned by Brother Barnabas. All right, so we need to get down to the southeast section of uh, the mines. Can I pick up the, the book? No. Books are not a thing until Taggerfall. Uh, so I need to get down to the southeast section. Um... You know, I think I'm just going to pass wall my way down there. Because I'm like, I don't want to go back through that spiral and get lost and everything all over again. Nah, screw that. Pass wall time. Zwipe. Zwipe. Just keep moving down as far south as I can. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll jump on down here. But yeah. I, I, actually, I kind of like that too. Uh, that's something I haven't uh, haven't seen them done do before. This 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 uh, mine, this this dungeon is full of firsts, and I like that. It's cool. It keeps the game fresh. But yeah, I'm actually uh, that's actually uh, something I'm going to touch on. I'll probably mention it again in case some people were not interested in Arena and skipped the series altogether. But when I do get to a, a Daggerfall, I will be reading the books. I want to dive into the lore. I want to really. Make that a uh, like make it a thorough playthrough, right? Of everything the game has to uh, to offer. Oh, I can't pick up that bracelet. Do I have any garbage that I really, really don't need? Um. I don't need the saber. I don't. Um. I'm too well equipped. I'm just gonna keep my dwarven saber of endurance. Actually, you know, I should have kept that on before and see if that actually helps with my uh, uh, health health gain per level. Uh, let's see. No, I think everything else I pretty much I can keep. Uh, let's actually take a look at that. Uh, Dwarven Saber of, uh, Saber of Endurance. Health is a plus two. If I unequip it... Um, health modifier plus one. Darn it! Yes, I should have kept that on. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, but in retrospect, if I would have kept that saber on and then just fully relied on my spells, um, then maybe at level up I would have gotten, uh, you know, some more hit points uh, per level. Oh well. But yeah, um, Daggerfall being the first game that I introduces uh, books into uh, the actual gameplay, I will definitely be reading that, so expect... Some episodes. Uh, maybe I'll restrict it to like one book per episode. I won't read more than one book. 
uh, per episode. That way there, you know, it, uh, it doesn't get to too... What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't drag on too long for on you guys, or maybe once every two episodes I'll read a book. That way there, it's, you know, still predominantly going to be uh, gameplay. Uh, I want to get down to the southeast, which is down here, and then follow the, it down that way. Uh, and there's no way... Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to navigate this place. Um, okay, head south. Uh, we'll jump over here. Wow, stone golems everywhere. Now, I could just, just, you know, sneak past them, but man, this is just experience waiting to be picked. Like, you know, sweet, just, just, just juicy grapes on the vine, just waiting to be picked and eaten, just, mmm, all that tasty experience. Mmm, actually, how much, how much are they worth? Out of curiosity here. I'm at, uh, let's see, 3,834,790. Uh, 790. Sup, guy? I might have to use a restore power potion. And what are you? That's actually a significant nice, uh, that's a nice jump in experience. All right, let's kill some stone golems. Let me see, what, what is my, uh, my next level at? I'm at level 17 now. And I haven't saved in a while, which is, uh, <laughs> which is not something you want to be doing. I, I, maybe I'm getting a little bit too cocky. Um, my next level up is at 4,696,000 and change. Yeah, I, I, I could actually, I could see myself doing that. At first I was like, man, leveling is just going to slow right down. And I, I don't need to check out my experience table uh, any higher than level 20. You know what? Uh, I think it might... I just may... Uh, I may uh, break 20. Well, I'm, I'm fairly certain by the end of the game I'll have broken 20, but... I, I think I... Uh, I think it's possible that even before I get to the end of the game, that you know, m my level will be in the 20s when I uh, complete the game. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Uh, I hear a homunculus. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, use some restore power potions. Uh, I need to uh, have this a little bit of Red Bull, because my stamina is down to a... Actually, maybe a little bit above uh, half, but I want to keep it high. Um, you know, just because. Took that sucker down. I wonder how much those are worth. I'm not going to slow down anymore, though, to check experience on each individual type of enemy. I'm sure that information is available on, um, I don't know, some wiki or something. If it isn't, I, sh I should actually check into that. There we go. I'll add another thing to my list of things that I put off for about 30 episodes before I finally do. I'll check what the experience is. Ha <laughs> ha. He doesn't expect to get hit from behind. Sucker. I remember when I first saw the Hellhounds, man, these things just, they smoked me, and I was terrified of them. I'm like, no, these things, not those things. I hated them. They were like the enemy that you just despise, but they're, now that, now it's like, ah, uh, whatever. You're a joke. Holy cow. I, you know, I'm definitely going to have to replay this game in the future. Uh, a nice playthrough as like a uh, man at arms type class, um, you know, with just like sword and board kind of thing. All right, so wait, it wants me to go down to this D down along the south, but that's the bottom. So he wants me to start in the southeast and then head west along the bottom. But won't that lead me over to this corner here? Okay, let's just continue heading southeast. Uh, head, let's, let's, let's get down to the southeast corner. Maybe there's something there that I need to get first uh, before it will um, allow me to do what I need to do maybe in the southwest corner. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I get, I'm, just, I'm still figuring this out. All right. Um, 
this kind of door. <gasps> Save. It looks like... Is that Brother Barnabas? It is. And he dropped something. You have found the map fragment, only slightly discolored by Brother Barnabas' blood. With the help of the Brotherhood of Seth, you may succeed where Barnabas failed. That's cool. It, they didn't just use a um, a random uh, piece of art. They actually modeled him. Um, you know, like normally when I kill like one of the enemies, they just have this generic kind of death uh, um, art. But they actually went and they crafted him. This body is obviously that of Brother Barnabas. Darn it. Oh, no. Seriously? I can't read it again? All right. Well, I, I guess turning down the cycles didn't really help me much. I guess I'll have to... Um, I guess I'll go turn them back up again. That way they can ex have better frame rate or if it's not going to really help me all that much. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save things here. Probably turn up my cycles. And... Um, Next time, we will get out of this dungeon and then maybe f actually find the location of the Crypt of Hearts. We'll see. Probably going to be some town selling stuff. You know how it goes. Uh, but until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.